Before we starting the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Story 1 Sarah Anderson adjusted her dress nervously as she stood outside the towering wrought iron gates of the sprawling mansion. It was the night of Ethan Reed's 25th birthday party, and Sarah's best friend, Emily, had invited her to celebrate with their close-knit circle of friends and family. As the gates creaked open, revealing a world of opulence and grandeur beyond, Sarah's excitement mingled with a hint of trepidation. Stepping inside, Sarah was immediately enveloped by the sounds of laughter and music echoing through the night. The mansion's grand foyer was adorned with glittering chandeliers and intricately woven Persian carpets, a testament to the Reed family's wealth and influence. Sarah marveled at the sight, her heart fluttering with anticipation. Emily, radiant in a flowing designer gown, appeared at Sarah's side, her eyes shining with excitement. The two had been inseparable since childhood, their dreams and aspirations intertwined like delicate threads of a tapestry. Sarah couldn't help but feel grateful for Emily's unwavering support and friendship. Hand in hand, they made their way through the sea of elegantly dressed guests, exchanging pleasantries and catching glimpses of familiar faces. Sarah marveled at the scene, feeling a sense of awe and wonder in the presence of such affluence. Amidst the laughter and merriment, Sarah caught sight of Ethan, Emily's older brother and the guest of honor. His magnetic charm and charismatic presence were impossible to ignore. Sarah had always admired Ethan's confidence and his ability to command attention effortlessly. As her gaze lingered on him, she couldn't help but feel a flutter of nervousness deep within. The evening progressed with a whirlwind of activity, with guests indulging in exquisite cuisine and engaging in lively conversations. Sarah found herself drawn into the vibrant atmosphere, the anticipation of the night's surprises building with each passing moment. As the clock struck midnight, signaling the official beginning of Ethan's birthday, a hush fell over the room. The attention of all the guests was firmly fixed on Ethan as he ascended the grand staircase, a spotlight casting an ethereal glow around him. Sarah's heart quickened as she realized this was the moment she had been waiting for, the unveiling of the birthday surprise. She exchanged a quick glance with Emily, their eyes brimming with excitement. But just as Sarah was about to join in the collective applause and cheer, Ethan's gaze locked onto her, a wicked glint flickering in his eyes. In an instant, his expression transformed from one of celebration to something far more sinister. You who are in my gift, take off your clothes. Ethan's voice boomed through the room, drowning out the applause and freezing Sarah in place. Time stood still as the shock of his words reverberated through her, reverting her excitement into a terrifying realization. Sarah's mind raced, desperately trying to comprehend what was happening. Her best friend had brought her to this birthday party, expecting nothing but a night of joy and celebration. And yet, Ethan's words hung in the air like a dagger, shattering her sense of safety and trust. Before Sarah could react, Ethan moved with startling speed, grabbing her arm and forcefully pulling her towards the staircase. Panic welled up inside her as she struggled against his grip, the weight of his actions crushing her spirit. She cast a desperate glance towards Emily, hoping for some semblance of rescue, but her friend stood frozen, her face etched with shock and disbelief. The world seemed to blur around Sarah as Ethan dragged her beneath the grand staircase, hidden from prying eyes. Her heart pounded in her chest, fear and confusion intertwining like a twisted dance. Sarah's mind raced as she found herself in the dimly lit, secluded space beneath the grand staircase. She trembled, her breath coming in short, rapid gasps. The weight of Ethan's aggression hung heavy in the air, suffocating her with a sense of vulnerability and disbelief. Please, Ethan, stop. Sarah managed to choke out, her voice trembling with a mixture of fear and desperation. She attempted to free herself from his grasp, her heart pounding like a drum in her ears. Panic surged through her veins as she realized she was at the mercy of someone she thought she knew so well. Ethan's grip tightened, his face contorted with a mix of rage and desire. You're mine, Sarah, he growled, his voice laced with a possessiveness that sent shivers down her spine. 
It was a sight of him she had never witnessed before, a dark, unsettling facet hidden beneath his charismatic demeanor. In that harrowing moment, Sarah's mind flashed back to memories that suddenly seemed tainted by new revelations. She recalled instances when Ethan had displayed flashes of aggression, moments she had brushed off as mere outbursts or misunderstandings. But now, everything took on a different hue, and she questioned the true nature of their past interactions. Desperation turned into a resolute determination within Sarah. She couldn't let fear paralyze her. She summoned her strength and gathered her thoughts, focusing on the bond she shared with Emily, a friendship that had weathered countless storms. Sarah knew she had to confide in Emily to share the burden of this harrowing experience and seek support in their unwavering sisterhood. Once outside the suffocating darkness beneath the staircase, Sarah sought out Emily amidst the bustling crowd. Their eyes met, and Sarah saw a mixture of guilt, confusion, and pain reflected in her best friend's gaze. Emily's own shock at her brother's actions was palpable. Sarah steered Emily away from the prying eyes and whispered, her voice quivering with emotion. Emily, Ethan's behavior tonight. It's not just a one-time thing. There have been other instances where he's shown aggression. And I'm scared, Emily. I'm scared for myself and for you. Emily's eyes widened, a flicker of realization crossing her face. I had no idea, Sarah. She whispered, her voice laced with a mix of disbelief and sorrow. I never imagined Ethan could be capable of such darkness. The two friends found solace in each other's presence, seeking refuge in the depths of their shared history. They spent hours recounting past memories, connecting the dots and piecing together a puzzle they never knew existed. Sarah's story resonated with Emily, as she too recalled instances when Ethan's temper flared or his possessiveness became unnerving. With each revelation, Sarah's resolve to confront the truth strengthened. She knew she couldn't keep silent, allowing Ethan's actions to go unchecked. Sarah urged Emily to stand by her side, to help expose Ethan's true nature and protect others from becoming victims of his aggression. Together, Sarah and Emily embarked on a journey to unveil the hidden secrets of their intertwined families. They delved into their shared past, unearthing layers of complexity and long-held grudges. They discovered that beneath the surface of their seemingly idyllic lives lay a web of unspoken resentments and broken promises. As Sarah's courage grew, she decided to confront Ethan directly. She had no illusions that it would be an easy task, but she refused to let fear dictate her actions any longer. With Emily by her side, she would seek justice and expose the dark truth that lurked within the Reed family. Sarah and Emily embarked on a mission to confront the secrets that had plagued their intertwined families for years. With a mixture of trepidation and determination, they unraveled the complex history and underlying tensions that had long been buried beneath the surface. Their investigation led them to delve into old family archives, calm through faded photographs, and engage in conversations with relatives who were willing to share their insights. Piece by piece, they reconstructed the past, exposing hidden rifts and resentments. Sarah discovered that the strained relationship between her father and Ethan's father, James Reed, had its roots in a business deal gone awry. Decades ago, Sarah's father had been betrayed by James, resulting in financial ruin for their family. The animosity had seeped into their children's lives, causing a deep-seated sense of rivalry and distrust. As Sarah and Emily unearthed these long-held grievances, they realized the impact it had on their own lives. The strain between their families had trickled down to their own friendship, as they had unknowingly carried the weight of their father's enmity. It was a revelation that shook them to their core. Their pursuit of the truth also uncovered a history of abuse within the Reed family. They learned of James Reed's history of violence, which had been expertly concealed behind a facade of respectability and success. The shocking realization that Ethan had inherited his father's dark sides sent chills down Sarah's spine. Sarah's determination to seek justice intensified, fueled by a desire to protect others from becoming victims of Ethan's wrath. She confided in Emily about the incident that had taken place during Ethan's birthday party and shared her fears for her own safety, 
as well as the safety of those around them. Emily, torn between loyalty to her best friend and her familial ties, struggled to come to terms with the magnitude of the revelations. She was forced to confront the uncomfortable truth about her brother, the person she had always believed to be her protector. Their investigation attracted the attention of other family members who had long suspected that something was amiss within the Reed household. Aunts, uncles, and cousins came forward with their own stories of Ethan's volatile behavior, corroborating Sarah's account and lending credibility to their cause. Armed with a growing network of allies, Sarah and Emily confronted the Reed family, determined to bring Ethan's actions to light. It was a daunting task, as the Reeds were a powerful and influential family in their community, and they had the means to protect their own. The confrontation was filled with heated exchanges, painful truths, and heart-wrenching admissions. Sarah's unwavering resolve clashed with the Reed family's attempts to downplay Ethan's behavior and protect their reputation. Their once impenetrable facade began to crumble under the weight of undeniable evidence and eyewitness accounts. As the revelations continued to unfold, the family dynamics shifted. Lines were drawn, alliances formed, and loyalties were tested. The Andersons and the Reeds, once entwined by blood and marriage, found themselves on opposite sides of a battle that threatened to tear them apart. The rift between Sarah and Emily deepened, their once unbreakable bond strained by conflicting loyalties and the weight of their shared history. Sarah had become the catalyst for a seismic shift in both families, and she couldn't help but feel the weight of responsibility on her shoulders. Yet, amidst the chaos and heartache, glimmers of hope emerged. The exposure of long-held secrets had set into motion a process of healing and transformation. Sarah's courage in speaking out against Ethan's abuse inspired others to break their silence, bringing to light a pattern of violence that had spanned generations. Story 2 James Anderson, the esteemed owner of Anderson Enterprises, paced nervously in his lavish office. The once thriving company now teetered on the brink of collapse, drowning in a sea of debts and financial woes. Every passing day brought him closer to bankruptcy and shattered dreams. With his back against the wall, James knew he had to make difficult decisions to salvage what remained of his empire. Reluctantly, he pondered the cost-cutting measures that might save his sinking ship. It was during this contemplation that he came across an unconventional solution, an opportunity to hire a cleaner from the local prison. The idea seemed absurd at first, but desperation clouded James' judgment. Swallowing his pride, he contacted the prison authorities and arranged for the employment of a convict, hoping to reduce overhead costs and maintain a semblance of order within the company. A few days later, James stood by the entrance, anxiously awaiting the arrival of the newly appointed cleaner. Doubt nodded him. Could he trust someone who had served time behind bars? The very thought made his palms sweat with unease. As the door swung open, a woman stepped in. Lily Johnson, the embodiment of resilience and determination. Her piercing gaze and confident demeanor caught James off guard. He quickly composed himself, though he couldn't help but question his decision once more. Lily, clad in a humble uniform, greeted James with a polite nod. Her eyes, carrying the depth of wisdom and hardship, betrayed a past filled with struggles. She had faced her own demons, battled the consequences of her choices, and emerged with a flicker of hope for a brighter future. Their initial interactions were laced with tension and suspicion. James observed Lily's every move, almost waiting for a misstep that would confirm his reservations. But as days turned into weeks, something unexpected began to unfold, a slow unraveling of preconceptions and a glimpse into the true essence of Lily's character. Despite her past, Lily displayed an unwavering dedication to her work. Her attention to detail was unparalleled, her commitment unmatched. Bit by bit, the office started to transform under her careful ministrations, shining with a newfound brilliance that hadn't been seen in years. James couldn't help but be impressed by Lily's resilience and the silent strength she exuded. Her mere presence challenged his assumptions and made him question his own limited perspective. He found himself contemplating the depths of redemption and second chances, 
Yet, unbeknownst to James, Lily carried a secret, a connection that would soon bind their fates in ways neither of them could have foreseen. It was a secret that, when revealed, would not only save James from the clutches of jail and bankruptcy, but also test the limits of forgiveness and redemption. James stood at the precipice of a transformative journey, his faith in the power of human potential wavering yet hopeful. Little did he know that the unassuming cleaning lady would become his unexpected savior, leading him down a path that would challenge his beliefs and redefine the meaning of family, love, and personal struggle. As weeks turned into months, James Anderson found himself increasingly drawn to the enigmatic presence of Lily Johnson, the former convict turned cleaning lady. He couldn't deny the stirring of curiosity within him, the need to unravel the layers beneath her guarded exterior. Their encounters were limited to brief exchanges and shared moments in the corridors of Anderson Enterprises. Yet in those fleeting interactions, James sensed a depth to Lily's character that intrigued and captivated him. There was an unspoken connection between them, an uncharted territory waiting to be explored. One evening, as the office emptied in silence and enveloped the vast halls, James lingered, unable to resist the pull that led him towards Lily's workspace. The glow of a lone desk lamp illuminated her silhouette as she meticulously cleaned the executive offices, her movements deliberate and purposeful. Taking a deep breath to steady his nerves, James approached Lily, his voice filled with a mix of curiosity and caution. Lily, may I have a word with you? Lily turned, her eyes meeting his with a mixture of surprise and intrigue. She hesitated for a moment before nodding, indicating that she was willing to engage in conversation. They retreated to a secluded corner, away from prying eyes and listening ears. As they stood there, James's initial reservations melted away, replaced by a desire to understand the woman who had silently woven herself into the fabric of his troubled existence. He asked questions about her life before prison, her hopes and dreams, and the challenges she had faced upon re-entering society. Lily shared her journey with an air of vulnerability, painting a vivid picture of a young woman who had succumbed to the allure of the wrong path, only to find redemption through introspection and the pursuit of personal growth. She spoke of the transformative power of her time behind bars, the relationships forged within the prison walls, and the determination to carve out a different future. James listened intently, his perception of Lily shifting with each word. The barriers he had erected around his heart began to crumble as he recognized the shared humanity between them. He saw in Lily the embodiment of resilience, a testament to the potential for change and growth that lay dormant within every individual. However, as their conversation deepened, a wave of uncertainty washed over James. He couldn't ignore the whispers of doubt that lingered at the back of his mind. What if their connection was merely a distraction from the imminent challenges facing his company? Was he allowing personal intrigue to cloud his judgment? As if sensing his inner turmoil, Lily reached out, her voice filled with sincerity. James, I know there are doubts and uncertainties, but sometimes the most unexpected encounters lead us to the answers we seek. Trust your instincts and let go of the fear that holds you back. Her words resonated within him, touching a chord that had long been dormant. In that moment, James made a decision, a leap of faith into uncharted territory. He would embrace the bond he felt with Lily and allow it to guide him through the challenges ahead. Little did James know that their connection was not merely a chance encounter. Unbeknownst to him, Lily held a key a piece of information that, when revealed, would not only impact their personal journey, but also have profound consequences for the future of Anderson Enterprises. James and Lily found themselves on the precipice of a deeper connection, one that would unravel secrets, test their resolve, and lead them down a path neither of them could have foreseen. Their lives were about to intertwine in ways that would forever change the course of their destinies. James Anderson's company continued to teeter on the edge of collapse, its fate hanging in the balance. With each passing day, the mounting pressure threatened to consume him. In this dire situation, he found solace and guidance in the unlikeliest of places, 
his burgeoning connection with Lily Johnson, the once convict turned cleaning lady. As their bond deepened, James began to confide in Lily, sharing the intimate details of his financial struggles and the looming threat of bankruptcy. He saw in her a confidant, someone who understood the weight of personal struggles and the relentless pursuit of redemption. Unbeknownst to James, Lily harbored a secret, her knowledge of an imminent danger that could jeopardize not only his company, but also his freedom. It was a twist of fate that would soon unfold, forever altering their intertwined destinies. One evening, as the clock struck midnight, James received a cryptic message. An anonymous letter slipped under his office door. The words leaped off the page, revealing a sinister plot against him, an orchestrated plan to frame him for embezzlement and financial fraud. Shock and panic seized James as he read the damning details laid out before him. His mind raced, desperately searching for answers. Who could be behind this malicious scheme? Was it a rival company, a disgruntled employee, or someone closer to home? In a whirlwind of confusion, James's thoughts turned to Lily. Could it be possible that she held the key to unraveling this conspiracy? But doubt gnawed at him. How could the very person who had saved him from despair now be linked to such a sinister plot? Driven by equal parts desperation and trust, James approached Lily with the letter clutched tightly in his trembling hands. His voice quivered as he presented her with the evidence, seeking her insight and assistance. Lily's eyes widened as she perused the incriminating words on the page. Her mind whirred with recognition, connecting the dots between the letter, her past, and the unexpected bond she had formed with James. The time had come for her to reveal the truth, the truth that would shatter James's perception of her and ignite a firestorm of revelations. Taking a deep breath, Lily confessed her involvement in the creation of the letter. Her connection to the prison had not been a mere coincidence. She had recognized James's name and the potential for redemption that lay within their shared path. Lily, driven by a sense of justice and indebted to James for the opportunity he had given her, had orchestrated the letter to protect him from a much deeper, more insidious threat. It was an audacious move, a risky gamble that she hoped would uncover the true orchestrators of the plot. The weight of her confession hung heavy in the air, suffocating the room with tension. James's mind reeled, grappling with the duality of Lily's actions. She had deceived him, yet her motives were rooted in a desire to safeguard his future. As the revelation settled, James made a choice, a choice to trust in the redemptive power of second chances. He saw in Lily a reflection of his own struggles and realized that their paths had converged for a reason. Together, they embarked on a journey to unmask the true culprits behind the plot against James. In their pursuit of justice, they would face unexpected allies, dangerous adversaries, and an unraveling web of deceit that threatened to consume them both, leaving James and Lily teetering on the precipice of a treacherous journey. United by a shared purpose, and a profound understanding of each other's pasts, they braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead. The moral of the first story, the owner of a prestigious company had a hard time hiring a convict as a cleaner. The man could not have imagined that it was the cleaning lady who would save him from jail and bankruptcy, teaches us the power of redemption, second chances, and the potential for growth and transformation in every individual. It reminds us not to judge others based on their past mistakes or circumstances, but to look beyond those surface judgments and give them an opportunity to prove themselves. The moral of the second story, my wife cheated on me, so I replaced her birth control pills and some other things, underscores the importance of open communication, trust, and addressing conflicts in a healthy and constructive manner. It serves as a cautionary tale highlighting the destructive consequences of deception, revenge, and manipulation in a relationship. It reminds us that seeking revenge or resorting to dishonesty only perpetuates a cycle of pain and can lead to irreversible damage to both individuals involved. Together, these stories teach us the value of empathy, forgiveness, and understanding. They emphasize the complexities of human relationships and the need to navigate through challenges with integrity and compassion. 
They encourage us to confront our own biases and preconceptions, recognizing that unexpected connections and personal growth can emerge from the most unlikely circumstances. Ultimately, they remind us of the power of redemption, forgiveness, and the potential for positive change in ourselves and others.